All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praise and glory to Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders apostles, the great millstone who rule well and teach well, and who are the true leaders of Israel today. I also like to give another shout out to the head of the man of Israel camp, uh, Chazat. My teacher down here in Greenville, South Carolina. And I also like to give another shout out to you, Sister Aki, and we buzz out of this person is truth and our sincerity and righteousness in these last days. And I also like to give another shout out to you, uh, Israelite, you Israelite foreigners. It's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion, coming back to our heritage in these last days. All right, and another quick shout out to you, if you outwalk, your sisters out there that stand in order and doing what you need to do in these last days. All right, to y'all, like to say, Shalom. All right, now come back through the spirit and power you have by Shia with another exhortation video. And uh, I'm going to go in, you know, I just saw the video. Uh, I was, I'm going to just go ahead and do a quick little lesson on it while I seen it. You know, I ain't even watch this video. I just like, I'm going to just land on it. I just watched like the first two minutes to see what he was saying. This nigga saying some madness, man. All right, the nigga, the nigga who said, uh, the nigga that said, uh, this is Yahweh Shah Day for the things killing. Now this nigga coming back doing another video. I'm saying you, you know, doing the same thing pretty much. Being being a fucking demon, a devil, man, a fucking demon, man. You know, so I'm gonna just play the clip. You know that the elder, um, but not the top bot from the GMS South Carolina, uh, camp. You know he posted his video, and then you know he posted that nigga video, and then he, you know he landed on you know the nigga video that he, you know that the nigga made. All right, elder, but not the top, you know, rebuke his ass, and I'm about to do the same goddamn thing, man. Right? Really, I ain't even finna rebuke him. He about to get um. What's the word, man? Ah, reprove, man. I'm about to re reprove his damn ass, man. You know? So let's play this clip, man. All right, peace of salutations to you, Royal House of David. I hope y'all wasn't thinking that um, we finna get out of here before I showed you the spread, right? We got to make sure these Pharisees is good and mad. So, Sergeant, take this. We in there? All right. We're going to show the spread. All right. What we got over here, mama? We got chicken wings fried extra crispy. We got pastries. We got cupcakes, cornbread. All right. We got red beans and rice with smoked sausage. All right. We got we got them collard greens with a little bit of Texas mustard, all right? And we got, got some white rice. And then what we got over there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The mac and cheese. The mac and cheese. All right. On the quan, I heard you talking shit about me singing. I'm singing again, nigga. Look here. You got me in there? You got me? Y'all see the knife? Mm -hmm. Oh. Y'all gonna love this. <laughs> Look. <laughs> One for the money, two for the Pharisees. Look here. We got two hands with extra glaze for you niggas. Yeah. Alright? <laughs> this nigga. See what I'm saying? This nigga talked about something. We got two hands. It's the glaze, man. Come on, man. This ain't no fucking uh, uh, Krispy Kreme donuts, man. It's the glazed donuts, man. Come on, man. Stop it, Jake. Now, I'm going to get the first cut. And then he said something earlier. He said uh, when he was, uh, he's like, I believe it was rice, if I'm not mistaken. He, had, he said he had sausages in it. I, we can't necessarily say it was pork sausage. It could have been turkey or beef sausages. But nine times out of ten, the shit was probably more than likely pork. But, you know, we can't be a false witness. And say, oh, nigga, you was eating, you put pork in the right. But then again, we still on his ass because this nigga just said he got ham, which is pork. You know? So I'm going to just put the rest of this clip, man. Did you get it out? I want you to bring it in closer. Closer. All right. We want that. We want to make sure we get some juice on the lambs. Oh, hey. Ooh. Boy, look at that shit there. Uh, uh, uh. Man, look here, man. Y'all hating. Y'all know y'all want some of this. 
Y'all know y'all want something. I get first taste, y'all. Y'all see that there? Mm. <laughs> All praise God. All praise God. All praise God. It's sanctified by the word of God in prayer. All right. Oh, oh praise it. All right. Everybody finna, finna line up and get they filled. All right. Want to give all praise to y'all by sending my shark y'all with shine. Any day that y'all want to celebrate your Howard Shine Day, uh, family, fuck these Pharisees, man. Let them talk all the shit they want. Y'all ain't coming to my house stopping shit. All right? I'll cook three hams the next damn time and some crab legs around it, you bitch ass niggas. All right? That's it, y'all. They want. Y'all ain't coming to my house stopping shit. All right? I'll cook three hams the next damn time and some crab legs around it. You bitch ass niggas. All right. That's it, y'all. See them? <laughs> this nigga's ignorant as fuck, man. This nigga said, this nigga said, next time I'll cook three damn hams, man. Come on, man. They talking about something. I know y'all want some bitch ass niggas and uh, 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 we some scribes and Pharisees. Uh, uh, nigga talking about something. We're going to put crab legs around the damn turkey um, or the ham nits. Man, come on, man. It's great abomination, man. It's great abomination. That's why I said, man, Lord, I have to put these niggas down, man. Right? So I'm going to kick it off with the book. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to kick it off with the book of... Um, we're going to kick it off with the book of... Uh, let me see you with a spirit. Uh, Matthews, matter of fact. We're going to kick it off with Matthews. Chapter 24. And we're going to start at verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, right, talking about Yahweh Shah. And he says, and, it, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when should these things be? And what should be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So that the, the apostles, they wanted to know when was going to be the time of Yahweh Shah's second coming, right? And Yahweh Shah, when he dropped down, Yahweh Shah said, uh, verse 11, Matthew 24 11, this is one of the things that was going to you know, happen before Yahweh Shah. You know, second return. That's how we know we're coming to the uh, uh, coming close to the end times, man. Because of these things, man, that's going on. So Matthew twenty four and eleven says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. You see that? <laughs> this nigga is deceiving many, man. Right? This nigga is a false prophet. This nigga saying basically you can eat pork. You know, he, he's basically you know promoting eating pork. Talking about the, that's Yahweh Shade. If that's not a false prophet, then what is, man? Why? Now that's all, that, that's something right there. All camps can agree on that we shouldn't be eating pork. But at the end of the day, you only really got great millstone and brothers who follow great millstone who's really you know rebuking this nigga or reproving this nigga, man. Why? We can all we we ain't even talking about the MOTB. We ain't talking about the names. We ain't talking about even though those things are important. Don't get it wrong. But we can all agree that we shouldn't be eating pork, man. Even old Old Testament only Israelites know that. You know, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, only, you know, like I said, only really uh, Great Millstone brothers and brothers who follow Great Millstone is really going to do these rebuke videos. You're not going to, I ain't going to say that you're not going to have other camps that's, that's going to rebuke him, but you, I don't see it. i never seen a video of these other Israelite camps that's rebuking, you know, these other camps or, you know, individuals like this nigga here, you know. So like I said, uh, and many false prophets arise and deceive many. And, and he's really trying to deceive the sheep. That's why we coming out with these videos. We're proving this nigga, man. Rebuking this nigga, man. Right? Because we understand we got to watch out for the sheep. Even though we know it's, it, 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 it's, 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 it's not lawful for us to eat pork. You know, somebody who, who just not coming in truth might not know that. So we got to, you know, watch out for the sheep as well. You know? So let's go to the book of... um. Leviticus, we gotta go to the law to prove that we shouldn't be eating pork, right? And we're gonna also deal with the uh, crown legs as well. <laughs> so we're gonna get Leviticus 11 and verse 7. And it says, And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be clo cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cut. He is unclean, he is unclean to you, right? Like you said, in the swine, what is the swine? The swine is a pig, right? So it's in the swine, though he divided the hoof and be clothed, cl cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cud. 
He is unclean to you, yeah, because a pig don't sweat. A pig is an unclean animal. A clean, a pig, a, oh, damn, I said a clean, a pig. <laughs> it's like your t- tongue twisted. A pig don't sweat, man. So a pig just, you know, their body just hold, you know, nasty tops and stuff, man. They don't sweat. They don't sweat. Those tops is like, that's, they, I, what's crazy is I was looking at the benefits of sweating, man, earlier, if, if, it's, if it's still on my Google. Yo, er, er, literally early before I even did this video, like two hours before I did this video, I was looking at the benefits of sweating, man. You know, and you know the benefits of sweating. It says it says sweat can fight germs, sweat glands constantly. Uh, it's excrete a natural antibiotic called dermacetic. Der, der, dermacetic. If I'm saying that right, it says sweat can make us happy. Sweat doesn't directly boost mood. I mean, sweat doesn't directly boost mood, but a good sweat can boost uh, endorphin levels and make us happier. It says uh, sweat can heal wounds. Sweat can speed up their speed up wounds, repair of, uh, of uh, scars, burns, and uh, ulcers. It says sweat can protect our kidneys. Sweating limits the assimilations of salt and calcium in the kidneys and the urine. Which can reduce the risk of kidney stones. You see, so you know, uh, and there's another one too, right here. Um, yep, right here. Detoxifies the body. It says sweating is part of your body naturally ability to detox. If you want to kick it up a notch and really cleanse your system, eat fresh, whole, nutrient foods, and hydrate regularly. You see, so <laughs> it's benefits of sweating, man. Sweat. If you don't sweat, man, you just holding in nasty toxins, which can kill you, man. So it's important to sweat, especially when you eating. We already eating bad food as it is, you know, in these grocery stores. Or, you know, you might go to a restaurant. It's important to sweat that shit out, man. That's why, you know, I work out. You know, I box, um, go to the gym and box, you know, and sweat, you know. Get my work on and sweat it out, man, because I understand that my body holds different you know toxins in it which can kill me man matter of fact there was an nfl player you know who died from uh toxins in his tooth you know he had dk in his tooth and the toxins reached up to his brain which killed him man an nfl player look it up you see so toxins can kill you so if you don't sweat those toxins are just building up in your body which can kill you man like the same with a pig you eating all that bad shit in a pig you you putting that shit in your body which can kill you man so why the fuck would you want to eat pork, man? Why why you think it called take worms in your body? You know, you get worms in your body, you get high blood pressure, your hair falling out, you got the gout and all that bullshit. Because you eating all that, that pig, man, that's that swine. You know? It said the swine, though he divided the hoof and be clothed for it, yeah, he's chewing not to cut, he is unclean to you. So, you know. Matter of fact, in verse eight as well. Uh Uh, verse uh, verse eight says, "Of their flesh ye not eat." You see, so we're not supposed to be eating it, man. And what that nigga doing? Took a cut of a piece of that damn ham and he ate it, man. You know, it says, "Of their flesh ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you." So you're not even supposed to touch it, man. <laughs> you're not even supposed to touch a pig or anything that's dealing with you know swine, man. No, no matter what part of the body it is, you're not supposed. Even if it's dead, alive, you're not supposed to touch it, man. You know. So, uh, we're going. We're going to read all the way to verse eleven. Verse nine says Leviticus nine eleven. It says, "These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters." Right, because that nigga was talking about how next time, he said next time, I'm roughly paraphrase what he said, he said next time, I'm gonna have crab legs around it next time. Come on, man, straight abominations. But it said, these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the sea, in the seas and the rivers, them shall ye eat. So it said, whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, that what you can eat. Crab legs, shrimp, lobster, oysters, uh, uh, certain fishes like you know catfish, uh, you know uh, lobsters, uh, uh, 
uh, I probably already didn't say it, but it was my favorite thing. Um, I used to get a lot. Um, crawfish. Craw <laughs> I just love some crawfish. I ain't gonna hold it. But besides that, you know, you can't eat things that, those things right there. Many more other things, but those just, you know, some names I named that, that don't have things and scales. Now, you got fishes like, you know, tuna, you know, uh, um, whiting, uh, flounder, uh, salmon, you know, things of that nature. They got fins and scales, right? Cod, right? They got fins and scales, man. So we can eat those. Now you you now you have some people that be like, what if they got fins but no scales, or they got scales but no fins? Hey, they gotta have both. You can't just have one. You can't eat one. You can't. Uh, it can't be no fish that got scales but no fins or fins with no scales. No, it gotta be both, right? You can't. So no, don't 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 even try it, Jake. Cause you have a simple Jake that think like that. Well, I mean he did say uh, it can't have fins nor scales. So, I mean, what if it got one but not the other? No, they gotta have both, man. Right. So verse ten says Leviticus eleven and ten it says, and all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers of all that move in the waters. And of any living thing which is in the waters, they should be an abomination unto you. You see, they should be even, verse 11, they should be even an abomination unto you. You should not eat of their carcass. I mean, you should not eat of their flesh, but you should have their carcasses an abomination. You see, it's an abomination to eat those things, man. So you shouldn't eat crab legs, shrimp, lobster, right, pork, none of those things. Those things are an abomination to the Lord. And the Lord, the Lord don't like abomination, abominations, man. You know, the Lord really hates those things, man. And the Lord gonna deal with that nigga, and then he blessing it. He basically making that a sacrifice to the Lord. You see, by him, you know, saying call all Yahweh. Well, he said Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, man. You see, he blessing that fool to the Lord, man. That's a sacrifice to the Lord, basically, man. The Lord gonna kill that nigga, man. <laughs> Lord really gonna kill that nigga, man. If he don't repent. And that nigga might be an agent at that anyway. I don't know. I'm not saying it, but I'm just saying he might be. Cause we all know that we all know you're not supposed to eat no fucking pork, man. Come on, man. Stop playing, Jake. You fucking playing now. Alright. And we'll end it with this one, man. Isaiah chapter um I just Isaiah chapter sixty, I believe it's it might be sixty five. If not it's sixty six. Okay, yeah, it might be 66. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. Yeah, there it go, yep. <clears throat> I was at 66 in verse 17. Uh, Isaiah 66 in verse 17. They that sanctify themselves. <clears throat> so like it. <clears throat> it says, damn, something smell like I'm funny. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 17. It says, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. We just said swine flesh is what? Pigs, right? It says, uh, Behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh in the abomination, and the mouse should be consumed together, said the Lord Yahweh. Matter of fact, let me see something. Isaiah 66 and verse 17 in the NLT. This is in the NLT, Isaiah 66 and verse 17. It says, those who concentrate and purify themselves in a, in a scar, scar garden with its idols in the uh, center, feasting on pork. <laughs> this is feasting on pork. Wasn't that nigga feasting on pork? And rats and other destable meats will come to a terrible end, says the Lord. And what's that? What's going to be that terrible end? That second death, which is going to be by what? Thermal, nuclear fire, and also what? The host of angels when Yahweh shot come back. Yahweh shot and the host of angels, man. You see? 
So that's gonna be the terrible end for this nigga right here, man. Right? Hey, won't this you ain't right here, man? And it's all congregation because they're not rebuking him. They're letting the niggas be in folly and sin. They basically agreeing with what he's saying, man. So them niggas that's there and them them them, them Zion's that's there, guess what? They gonna get it as well, man. You see? So with that, man, we're gonna end this video. Yahweh brought this out. This video be edifying. I'm gonna close out with giving our praise and glory too. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash. Shalom to the next time. Shalom.